In the last video, we used a mastering EQ to add a little bit of gain to the output. However, when I'm mixing, I tend to use a limiter instead of the output of the EQ. So let's turn this back to zero, close out the plugin, and call up a limiter on this master fader here. A limiter is basically a high ratio compressor, like 20 to 1 and above, that's actually limiting the output to a certain level, but not doing any compressing. So for now, we'll call up our meter and our limiter, and I'll show you what it can do. Let's insert a limiter. I tend to turn to the Oxford limiter. It has a good sound, nice and clean. Can get some good punch out of a mix. Okay, we'll just put that over here, but we'll also call up a meter so we can watch the levels change. And let's call up the meters, and we'll put those over here. And we'll lock the plug into position right there. Okay, let's roll some audio. First thing I'll set is the output level. So the level of the mix will never go above the assigned output level. Let's just drop it a little below zero for now. And let's push the gain up. We'll start with just above three. Okay, notice our level is now higher. Let's bypass. You can hear how the whole mix lifts. So we have just over three dBs of gain added to the mix. We could limit the mix more if we chose to. Let's put it back up. I usually drop it just below one dB. There we go. Let's clear that. Notice how our peaks are just below zero now. A feature I like on this limiter is the enhanced level. It adds a certain brilliance to the top of a mix. Push that up around here. Bypass. Put it in. It's nice clarity on the top of the mix now. I'm being conservative with my levels here. Setting the output just below zero. I can watch the levels here or I can watch the levels here. Bypass it again. Now I could go back to the EQ and add a little gain here as well. Sometimes I'll use a combination of plugins to get my master fader level. There's no right or wrong way, it's whatever sounds best. Let's bring that back to zero. Now we could get just a little more gain out of this. Push it up to three. Let's check it again. We could even pull it back just a little more. We're looking good with our master output level. And there you go. Limiters on the master fader can help make it louder, but be careful, don't make it too loud. Leave some dynamic range in the mix.